dollars. And the war on drugs cost millions of dollars and thousands of lives. And the only way we're going to understand how to bring it to an end is to understand the economics that drive it. Hey, hey, hey. How did it? Does your daughter know? No, I keep her far away from that. It tricks the brain into thinking you've had something incredibly rewarding. If you have too much, it will turn from happy to crazy. When you ingest cocaine, temperature goes up, your pupils dilate. Mass overdose today in Brooklyn. People call them K2 zombies. I was an addict for 10 years. You don't have money. You have to steal or you have to sell your body. Two billion meth pills being produced per year. And McDonald's doesn't make that many Big Macs in a year. Massive. If I spend $2,500 on this, and I make $13,000, we took a real money. The promise of riches compared to not having running water in your house has got to be pretty tempting. The average monthly income in Kibera is 25 to 40 US dollars. So selling one shot of heroin for 30 is a game changer. I can buy a TV, a fridge, a microwave. This is a safety issue. Now you can take out. your pictures out of the area. This is a global, multi-billion dollar business. No one will stand up and talk about drugs. The police has been infiltrated. Politicians have become players themselves. The war on drugs has not made a dent. In fact, the problem's worse than ever.